Okay, so for this video, I decided to create something a little bit different because I get asked almost every single day for photography advice, for camera advice, or accessory advice. So I decided to group all these things together to make you a video on the things that I feel you should be giving your dad this Father's Day if he's into taking pictures or creating video. All right, so first up on my list is gonna be my Joby Gorilla Tripod. I carry and use this thing every single day and it is absolutely amazing. Not only is it great for flat level surfaces, but this guy has arms that bend and turn and can grip onto pretty much anything. And when it holds on, it holds on tight. This pro version can hold up to 11 pounds. Now that one will set you back a little bit. The pro version costs about $139. So if your dad doesn't have a Mac Daddy camera that weighs 11 pounds, I probably wouldn't get him this one. But they do have smaller, more consumer brand versions for $49 that hold up to six pounds. So that's gonna, that's gonna hold pretty much any DSLR camera out there um, without a battery grip and with a decent lens on it. This is a fantastic gift that's small, breaks down, travels well, all around great, great tripod. I would recommend this. All right, so next up on the list is gonna be a solid camera strap. Now I know your dad's camera probably already came with a camera strap from the manufacturer but I can't stress the importance of upgrading a camera strap. I personally have chosen the Peak Design camera strap. This thing is built like a rock. It has nice nylon, I'm assuming this is nylon, I have actually no clue, but it feels like a seat belt. That's how thick it is and that's how strong it is. Comes with these great little adjusters here, so you just lift up, slide up to make, it, make the camera rise up, pull them down, get a little more length on them. The biggest thing that I love about these camera straps are these little adapters right here. These little guys. Because they hook into the sides of your camera and then it's a quick release for your camera strap. So if your camera's hanging here, boom, you're in, you're out. Now you can buy extras of these and put them on multiple cameras if your dad's like me and has a camera obsession. That way, this camera strap is versatile to all the cameras. You just slide them in, locked, you're ready to go on both sides. They have two different versions. This is the thicker version that runs for roughly about $60. They do have one that's a little bit thinner. Same concept, same hook, same fastener, same all around. It's just a little bit thinner. Runs about $49. I think three or four different colors. Peak design, camera strap, get him one. He will thank you. Next up on the list is gonna be for those dads who really enjoy creating great video work. Now I can't show you the one that I'm using, which is right here, but it's a Rode microphone. Even if your dad is just making home movies, good quality audio of what you're saying or what your mom's saying or what your grandparents are saying, capturing that good, clean audio makes a world of difference. Don't believe me? I'm gonna show you. Here's what it sounds like when I'm talking on my Rode microphone. Okay, now I'm recording audio with the onboard microphone in the camera. The camera's about five or six feet away from me. So you can tell a massive difference in the audio and how much worse it sounds without my nice microphone. So since I have mine unplugged, I'll go ahead and show you what I use. It's the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Now this bad boy will set you back about 330 bucks. So if your dad isn't really into making too, too good of videos, I would not splurge on this one. So what I would do though is recommend this one right here. It's the Rode Video Micro Compact. It is a fantastic microphone for $59 that will record decent audio. It's not gonna be the best, it's not gonna be this road right here, but it will do loads better than your on-camera microphone. Okay, sorry about the bad audio there for a second. So, that's the video mic I would go with. It's gonna be a great alternative to the $330 version that I have, and it's gonna capture fantastic audio for family adventures, birthdays, Christmas, anytime that you need good, solid audio captured, that guy's gonna do the trick for you. All right, next on my list is gonna be a real fun one. It's the DJI. Osmo Mobile 2. So basically what it is, is a stabilizer for your iPhone. So you take your iPhone, you obviously have to calibrate it and get it all, all set up, ready to go. You take your iPhone, put it in there, turn it on, whoop, boom. As that is capturing awesome video footage, it keeps the camera, oh, there my email went off, that's great. Okay, so back at it. So what this stabilizer does, as you put your phone in here and when you're recording video, it keeps the footage super stable. The phone doesn't even move at all while it's in here. 
you shoot video handheld and you're trying to follow a subject or walk with a subject or hell even run with a subject, it's going to be shaky. It's going to be really, really bad. What this does is help take that out by these motors counterbalancing the weight of the phone. So when you're running towards a subject or running with a subject, it keeps it nice and steady, nice and smooth. Your dad will be very, very happy if you come home with this for Father's Day. Okay, so the last item on my list is going to be a little bit of a splurge item, but I can promise you that you will be your dad's most favorite person in the entire world if you pick him up one of these for Father's Day. That's going to be a drone. Why, why would you not want to get your dad a drone? It's one of the coolest gifts out there that I think that you could buy your dad. So what I have here is a DJI Mavic. This one's going to set you back a little over a thousand dollars, but it's, it's awesome. It's super compact, so you can take it, fold it up, just like this guy, throw it in a bag, and you're ready to go. Look how small that is. Like, it's just about the size of my hand. It's crazy. Another option that I would have for you is going to be the DJI Mavic Air. This little guy is sweet. It's the newer, updated version to the Mavic Pro. It's smaller. It's thinner. It's more compact. It's unbelievable it's got way more advanced options than this does as far as like detecting objects and flying around them it's really easy to fly and it's so much fun now i know you may be thinking oh my gosh i couldn't even attempt to try to fly one of these things i'm here to tell you that these things are beyond user friendly they connect up to like 15 16 satellites in the sky so even when you're flying and you let go of the controllers that bad boy just hovers there now you do have to be careful. Some of the newer ones have better sensors to avoid objects and to keep you from flying into things. Um, but it's still very, very possible to fly into them. And the laws regarding these things, I cannot stress that enough. Please, if you buy your father a drone, make sure that he is up to date on all the laws that surround these. This is strictly a hobby toy and needs to be used appropriately. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap us up. Hopefully you got some fantastic gift ideas for Father's Day this year. Every item that I mentioned is going to be linked in the description below. Comment if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button for more videos. And if you have a recent graduate in your life, I'm going to link Dylan's profile below. He's a good friend of mine who did a video on the best gifts for that recent graduate. So go check it out. And I will catch you on our next adventure.